1966. Honda, realizing that big things can come in small packages, continues its campaign, producing small displacement motorcycles, and enters into an entirely new market segment for the company. With a new, compact, and innovative design, this two-wheeled masterpiece was bound to make waves in this new economical and practical segment of the motorcycling world. Small packages continues its campaign. Brock. <laughs> Brock. What? What are you doing over there, buddy? What do you mean, what am I doing? We said we'd make a video on the P50, and that's what I'm doing. It's a moped. What do you suggest we do? You can start by just talking about what you think's cool about that thing. All right. All right, so you drug me out of here, you got me mic'd up. Tell me what you think is so cool about this thing. Well, for starters, right, the engine and the wheel unit, it's all self-contained. It's all one unit, engine transmission, right on the rear wheel. So you've got no drive chain. The only chain that you've got here is on the pedal mechanism. Everything else is contained within. I already know that this thing is a self-contained unit because I helped you change the dang tube gear. <laughs> Uh, and that was a nightmare, man. Uh, you know, what, what was uh, step one in the service manual on how to change this tire out? Step one, let's just remove engine. Oh. Let's just remove engine. Step one, remove engine, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, it's no big deal. What, what do you mean, no big deal? This took us an hour and a half to change out this inner tube on this stupid moped. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, okay, I'll give you that. It's got a, a unique, you know, engine and hub design and, you know, simplicity, blah, blah, blah. So I'm guessing this thing has what, like a CVT transmission, you know, the continuously variable transmission? No, uh, not exactly. It doesn't actually even have gears in it. It's pretty much got a set of a few chains, uh, a couple sprockets soaked in oil. <laughs> CVTs weren't common technology at the time, at least not for Honda product. And uh, on top of that, if you think about it, gears were a little more expensive to cut. If it works, it works, right? You don't have an external drive chain to worry about adjustment or maintenance on, so pretty much hop on and go. Okay, okay, I get it. Simplicity, I'll, I'll give you that. I mean, this thing is 56 years old, so obviously not peak moped technology just yet. No. So I guess uh, one of the cool things about this is that it's a four stroke, but if you only got a little 49cc motor, don't you kind of want the extra power from a two stroke? If you're a hipster whose only form of transportation is a moped, sure, right? Yeah, you want every ounce of power you can get out of it. Funny enough, the truth is, Sashiro Honda essentially hated two-cycle engines because he hated the way they sounded. When he came out with his moped, uh, he demanded that it be four-stroke, and that's the design you got. So instead of a, a noisy, smelly two-stroke, you get a nice, pleasant four-stroke technology there. It only made like, what, 1.3 brake horsepower, I think? Uh, 1.2. 1.2, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, it was a much more quiet. You didn't need to take oil with you and mix it. It was a much more uh, user-friendly uh, experience, uh, unless you got a flat tire. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say? You wanna take a ride on this bad boy? You wanna be the first one? We gotta take it for a spin, right? No. Let's see, decompression switch, pull that, get moving on it, let the decompression switch out. There we go. This is an interesting little bike. Uh, it's, it's really hysterical. Gosh, it feels so tiny under you. You can, you honestly, you can barely hear that little four cycle engine run. Kind of tractors along there. It takes a, it takes a second for it to get up to speed. Get to wind out. But uh, it's really a hysterical little ride. Doing about 25 up this hill, according to the speedometer. Going back to about 20, slowing down for these speed bumps just a little bit. Going up 
tell we're a little under 20. It's a pretty good grade on this. Got a little pedal to help her out. Here's a good little stretch. Let's see if we can get up to speed. Let's see if you do a top speed run. 25. Ah, we're just under, just about to hit 30. quite break 30 with this little guy, can we? So that's not too bad considering the, uh, uh, compared to most mopeds, I wanna say a lot of them only do 20, 25 mile an hour. So for a four stroke 50 cc, I think that's pretty acceptable. Automatic transmission. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming these things were flying off the shelves, right? Well, no, not really. Yeah, they only made it for pretty much two years until 1968 and then ceased production until the uh, PA-50 Hobbit replaced it. But nevertheless, uh, it is a very cool ride, very unique. You're definitely going to want to take a spin on this, right? I wouldn't ride this thing across the street.